Seq Builder allows you to view the restriction enzymes on your sequence in several different ways so that you can easily identify enzymes that meet the criteria you're looking for. First of all, you can use one of the standard options that are available to you in the curtain here. One is filtering enzymes by one of the selectors that we provide. For example, you can see that right now I'm only showing unique enzymes, but if I uncheck that box and then select 5' overhang, now I'm only displaying enzymes that leave a 5' overhang when they cut. You can also apply individual enzymes just by drilling down through this alphabetical list and then selecting the enzymes you want to see displayed. Now if you want to identify an enzyme that will excise a gene, there are a couple of additional tools that you can use beyond these standard options. First, you can create a custom selector based on frequency so that we're only seeing enzymes that cut the sequence twice, once on either side of the gene. So to do that, go to Enzymes, New Selector, and that opens up the Selector Manager dialog. So from here, I'll give my selector a name, select Frequency from the Type field, and we're going to enter 2 for both the minimum and maximum number of cuts. Then I'll click OK. And now if I look in my selector list, I should see the new one I just created. It's right here, and I'll select it to apply it to my sequence. So now we're only seeing enzymes on our sequence that cut twice. But now we want to see which ones cl cut closest to our gene. And the minimap view gives us an easy way to do that. So I'm going to switch to the minimap view. And the minimap view shows our nucleotide sequence on a smaller scale, and it shows it in relation to restriction enzyme cut sites. So each row shows the cut sites for a particular enzyme along the sequence. And you can sort either by frequency or name by clicking on these column headers here. But you can also sort based on which enzymes cut closest to an existing selection. So let's say I want to excise this CDS feature here, shown in the feature list view. I'll double click on it to select it, and then click on the column header for the ruler in the minimap view. And that will sort by the enzymes that cut closest to the gene I selected. So you can see that this enzyme here, APO1, cuts very close on either side of the feature. So this might be a good one to use for excising the gene. If you have further questions about using restriction enzymes in SeqBuilder or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.